What's up guys, this is Iron Link here and welcome back to Legend of Zelda. In the last episode, I kind of had to restart my whole computer and uh, lost my last episode I was going to upload yesterday, but that didn't work out. So, quick summary. Um, surprise, we got bombs. Yeah, we um, we met up with uh, Nico, remember him? He was the guy that made us go through the maze. Um, he was like, okay, if you beat this, another maze, you know, you get bombs. So he gave us bombs. And that's a scoop on that. And now our destination is Windfall Island. Or, not Windfall, this is Windfall. What the heck am I doing? This is Outset Island. Get it straight this time. Um, my thing, yeah, I am. Yeah, right there. Do the Wind's Requiem? Yeah. Oh my goodness. My voice sounds a little out. It's, I went to a concert a couple nights ago and I just yelled the heck out of my throat. So, that's why I'm not talking as loud as I usually am. If there's any difference, I don't know. Um, get a treasure chest coming up. Should I grab it? Yeah, well, I'll grab it. There's not much to do. Um, I think I'll just grab this uh, chest here and I'll skip to when we get to outside because that's a really tedious boat ride. It's going to take up practically the whole video. So, um, I guess after we open this chest, I will see you guys in a split second. And we get a purple rupee. There's 50 more rupees for nothing. Should have thought of that earlier. Tisk tisk. Uh, skip into what I was about to skip to. Right there. Don't worry about it. Um, we'll get to that much later. Actually, fairly soon after our next dungeon. It's a fairly short dungeon. I think I'll be able to get it over and done with in two videos if I make them 20 minutes. Don't know. We'll see, but don't worry about that. Don't get too close or else you'll be sucked in. You'll be thrown anywhere. Um, I think you'll be thrown with the Cyclones. I think you'll be thrown anywhere in each spot. But if you um, get caught up with an uh, octopus or whatever, the big giant things, um, they uh, spit you out to any of these squares. So for you speedrunners, that might be an idea, but it's like one out of ten chance you will actually get to the spot where you're going to get you might end up going right here and we're supposed to go down here so just a little tidbit stuff um, if you guys want to try that out you can I'm not going to because I don't want to edit a very long edio uh, edi video so see you guys in a second alright so we are back yes and it's still raining have you noticed, Iron? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle, the land that is so ravaged by monsters. It is as it is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need we need not to worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact. We not. It might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time. Why am I speaking like a hillbilly? I'm trying to do my Batman voice. I'll try it. I'll try it. <clears throat> we can't speak with Jaboon after you. Do oh my goodness, that's terrible. I haven't watched Batman in so long. Mm, there's my bouncy box right there. Um, we can go visit the the town, or yeah, the town. Go visit the town just to say we're back. But I am going to postpone that for uh, later on, cause um, mm, we are going to head up back into that forest above where we found Tetra, uh, the first time we met Tetra. Because right there we need bombs and those bombs release a very special 
thing which heals someone which gives us a very awesome overpowered thing and that's a lot of things to talk about but yeah so have you guys been haven't uploaded anything in what like eight days terrible should have started working on stuff earlier but you know I had uh, school and tests to do today was my first uh, final exam for uh, history which is fun stuff going on there and these guys from now on from this point on to the uh, pretty much the end of the game these guys will randomly appear now um, don't worry about them they aren't that aggressively man hit them uh, they aren't that aggressive um, they do back away when they try to hit you so if you both move away at the same time it might actually help you out just saying or you could run right past them and let them follow you all the way up here and then poke you off but you know it's totally up to you and uh, what was I talking about um well, what was I talking about um school uploading uploading um I don't know, I just recorded this, I don't know, well, I don't know, an hour before I uploaded. Um, I wanted to make this fresh. So, that, oh, I have a question for all of you viewers and subscribers and likes and more likes and people. That guy will appear, that's what you need to take charge of, you know. And then it'll have spiky diarrhea. And that's not what I was going to talk about. Um, you want to come right up here. I'm going to go back to what I was talking about before. Or before, yeah. Um, in a second. But I just want to blow this thing right up. Sky High. That was a terrible movie, Sky High. Hated that movie. There was no point to it. It was like this guy that could fly in a... Like, uh, he could... Super strength. It's like... Wow, what a way to make fun of Superman. The guy's a complete idiot, too. But anyways, we get a fairy fountain. Surprise, surprise. And the... Four-armed... Person. Okay. That's not at all unusual. Unless you have two people the same, you know? Some people are like that. But, man, that would be weird to have four, four arms. Like, talk about multitasking. And we get more rupees. Yes. We can hold up to a thousand rupees. Yes. Yes. And then she's like, oh, fairy's going to appear. You can come back anytime. Refresh, you know, you know, drink some water, you know, look at the remake of you know the n64 background you know listen to the remake of the n64 fairy fountain so if you have a bottle with a forest firefly get rid of that thing who the heck needs that and you wanna catch a fairy and go you sucker and the fairies that doesn't look at all satisfying how would you like to be, like, trapped in a jar? Like, come on. What's not get- Hey. Hey. Can you go back there? No, I guess I can't. Can you go back there? No. Well, <laughs> you never know. It could be glitches. So you can come over here, but you get moblins. Mobbies. Mobbies. My bees. So these guys are completely, I think they're, these are the ones that are scared of bombs. Yeah, they are. No, they aren't. Come closer, buddy. Boom. Sucker. And they try to hit you and you're like, huh, oh, sucker. Uh, and that guy's going to poke me. And he's like, who? All right. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. And what the heck are you doing, Link? Man. Mental patient here. You wanna 
get hit by him. That's mandatory. You have to get hit by him before he dies. And then miss him again and then jump over him but hit him while you're not hitting him. So try to make sense of that. And then you stab him in the butt and that dies. He dies. What a violent video this is, man. Um, so you, you do get, like, crap ton of range. Hey, I'm going to put a, a counter, on, like, for the videos of how many times I say crap. Like, I've said it so many. I watched, like, one of my older videos when I first started out, which was, like, eight months ago. Can you believe it? Eight months already. It's like, wow, I should have been done in this game and a couple other already. But, you know, it's a long game, and I'm I'm going after Ratchet and Clank there, and I'm doing five facts, which I'm still working on. That's why you haven't gotten any uh, on last Friday, because I was working on it. I'm working on that 20 Zelda facts. Zelda facts. Sounds ancient. So you want to fly across here, make sure you don't fall, because you want to kill yourself. And it is very so possible to land on here and not slide off. So if you're wondering on that, some juicy tidbits going on there. And you want to head to see Grandma because she's like, oh, you're going to die. I don't want to lose two people at the same time. And we're like, oh, suck it up, Grandma. So sad music. Uh-oh. She dead? No, she's bobbing her head. Unless you turn into a bobblehead. Oh. She's like, oh, no. Iron Ariel, don't go, don't leave. Oh. Poor old grandma's gonna die. Oh. Have fun. Man, I'm terrible. But you just wanna look at her and go, ha, sucker, I can heal up in front of you. Well, that's very cool. Put some pity grace on that old person. Her head looks like a watermelon. Man, do the oh yay! Come closer so I can see you better. I need glasses, but you know they never invented them until like a late 1800s, which I never knew. <laughs> Actually, I don't know when glasses were made. And there's Lincoln Ariel in the background there. I just saw that for the first time. And I'm just skipping all over this dialogue because it's not worth reading because it's going to take up a lot of video and I want to... Okay, I'm going to try to be able to get into Jaboon's thing. Uh, his little cavern there and behind the... Windfall. Or not Windfall. You know, our island, you know, spoilers. But if you talk to her, she'll give you, like some juice and it's like uh, you drink it twice and it refills your health and magic and it gives your sword double damage so double D and elixir soup which is the best I wish I could drink it and if you look at the pot up in the corner there it's orange she puts it in her bottle it turns yellow doesn't does it actually should it turn yellow don't know maybe it'll give you a yellow belly terrible puns is it like, oh you weren't sitting over there now you're sitting over here and oh she got up that's why all right what are we coming on oh yeah i want to try to get into the baboon the, b -b 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 the baboon's uh cavern there spoilers uh, we got 30 bombs. We need uh, at least, I don't know, six to get in there. But, you know, a lot of people have troubles. You jump on here like a boss and drown. Yes. I was, I'm just skipping all over the dialogue here because it's not worth it. Like, they state the obvious. So, we're going to cruise on over here. The cruisinator. Crusaders. Man, I've been playing a, what is it, AC, the first one, the first Assassin's Creed. That is a good game. Man. I don't know why I haven't played it at my friends. Like, 
he plays it all the time. And why does he never play it when I'm around? Untold secrets of my friends, you know. You gotta love them. Anyways, I went to a concert with him. That was a great concert. I'll post a link below if you guys want to know what kind of concert I went to. So you want to hit where the red spots are. Uh, kind of obvious. You want to hit there. And the bottom one takes a couple shots, I bl do believe. Yeah. There we go. Boom! Just like that. How many how many bombs did I use? How many? Tell me. How many? Um, I think I'm going to stop the video here. So, in the next episode, I will see you guys talking to Jaboon. So, see you guys then.